Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fabulous today. Just on my way home from a long day at the office. Hey, got a question for you. Why does car insurance cost more when you got bad credit? Have you ever thought about that? Did you realize that car insurance costs more when you have bad credit? Or did you think that your credit score has nothing to do with the premium you pay on car insurance? And the reason that car insurance costs more if you have bad credit is because you're a higher risk to the insurance company. Higher risk for fraud, higher risk for an accident. I mean, you're high risk. And generally, you're gonna be in a higher risk neighborhood if you got bad credit. You know, you're not gonna live in a nice gated community on the west side of Las Vegas. You're gonna live on the east side of Las Vegas where there's tons of crime, right? There's a little bit for you. Just learning how to drive this bad boy. V12, 674 horses. It's pretty sweet. But it rained a little bit earlier here in Vegas, so it's a little slippery. But bad credit impacts you in, in more ways than you think, or even just poor credit score. You know, 75 million Americans have poor credit. 75 million. Are you one of them? You know, I hope not, but if you are, I can help you. You know, there's lots of people who can help you, but uh, you can reach out to me and I'll give you a shot and charge you after the fact. Oh, so many little, little Firebird is wanting to race. Smoke that car, right? But here's what you can do, you know, and increase your credit score. Uh, insurance companies check your credit twice a year, twice a year. June and December of every year. Now, why June and December? Because those are the months that Americans, on average, have the lowest credit score. All right, June and December. Why December? Because you're maxing out your credit cards for Christmas. Why June? Because you're maxing out your credit cards for your vacations, right? So that's why your credit scores are generally lower in June and December. So what you can do to decrease the likelihood of paying more in car insurance is make sure your utilization rates are in the right place. And that is between one and 10%. That's what you want. Don't want over 10% because when you go over 10%, you lose 10 points. And for every 10% you put on that credit card, you lose 10 points. All right, so if you got a credit card that's maxed out, you're losing 100 points on your credit score. Now, none of this really applies if you have a 740 or higher credit score. I'm talking about the people that are 740 or less. That's when the utilization really hurts you. You know, you gotta be really careful with that. But insurance companies know that if you have bad credit, there's gonna be more likelihood you're gonna have a claim. And let me break that down, why? Why there's more likely for you to have a claim if you have bad credit versus good credit? And the real reason is this. People that have bad credit are generally running from their creditors. They're not paying their bills on time, they're getting harassed at work, getting harassed at home, they're not sleeping very well, they got a lot of stress in their life, they're sick, they're not paying attention, maybe they're on their cell phone when they're driving, maybe they're not, they're distracted, they're fighting with their spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, kids, whatever. And so they're, they're really distracted drivers. Maybe they're not sleeping at night, so now that puts them at a higher risk of getting an accident from falling asleep. Insurance companies know this, bean counters know this. And so they, they will pull your credit and they're gonna base your rates on your credit score. So you gotta be really careful with that. There's a little popo behind me. He actually went the other way. So, But you wanna get your credit score as high as possible. So here's some solutions. Keep your utilization rates down and get on someone else's credit that's an author, get somebody to add you as an authorized user. 
So let's say your credit cards are maxed out and you got $10,000 in credit card debt and you're maxed out. Well, if you have a friend that's got a $20,000 card, ask them to add you as an authorized user. All right, what that's going to do is their, their credit limits will show up on your credit report and it's going to change your utilization rate. So this guy in the Firebird just keeps revving his engine at me. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but it's going to change your utilization rate. It's going to change your credit score. And if you have a small or a thin credit file, adding adding that utilization or adding that authorized user account, that's going to thicken your credit file, right? And that's only going to drive up your credit score. <coughs> the other thing you can do is you can start disputing some of the inaccuracies. Maybe there's some late payments that aren't supposed to be on there. Maybe there's some old collections, charge-offs. Maybe there's an old short sale that's showing up as a foreclosure. You know, I have a client that just hired us a few days ago. He filed bankruptcy in May last year. Well, as of February, so May 2017, he filed bankruptcy. But in February and March of 2018, Ford Motor Credit reported him as filing bankruptcy and currently 60 days late. The problem with it is Ford Motor Credit was paid off three years ago when he traded that car in on his Lexus that he did file bankruptcy on. See, he didn't file bankruptcy on Ford Motor Credit. It was paid off close three years ago, right? He filed bankruptcy on the Lexus. Whoa, that dude almost swiped me. He spun out, it's so slick here. He almost hit me with his car. Just got the car today, man, come on. But he didn't. So with Grant, uh, not only are we going to fix his credit, but we're probably going to get that kid, 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 it's not really a kid, he's an, old, an older gentleman that works for me, but uh, we're probably going to get him like 50 grand. Maybe we get him 20. Maybe we only get him two. But that's money that he didn't have before. And so what we do at Fortress Credit Pro, my company, and by disputing the inaccuracies, we kind of set him up for a lawsuit. So we sent out a letter. It says, my attorney told me to send you this letter. I believe it's inaccurate due to this. They reply back with it's accurate. And then we st stick them with the lawsuit, right? So that's one of the things that we do. And we take that money to pay for the credit repair. Now, you don't have to use somebody like me. You can do it yourself. But I highly recommend you use a professional or at least do some studying up. Uh, the FTC says on average it takes a 1,000 hours to fix your own credit. So... If you're going to do it yourself because you have more time than money, then you know so be it. But you want to really do your research and don't write stuff like I was never late if you were late. That's not my account when it was your account. I don't know who you are when you do know who they are. All right? So don't, don't be stupid like that. And that's going to increase your likelihood of getting it deleted as well as filing a lawsuit. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got to talk to the gate guard here, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.